below. Yeah, I'll get there in a minute, dude. Just gotta give me a second to get through this intro. I was about to welcome everybody back so that I could make one final desperate effort to communicate to Warren the fact that I'm really not into dudes. In Perfidious Beat plays Life is Strange. I mean, geez, dude, just because you're crushed under a truck, does that mean I have to drop everything and come help you? Your, you know, your smashed legs aren't gonna heal miraculously in the next 90 seconds. Just chill for a minute. Really, Warren, it shouldn't be this hard. You shouldn't be forcing me to sit here and, and, and berate this man as he begs for help. You should be able to take a hint by this, Warren. I really feel like there's some awfully willful ignorance occurring. Nobody, Warren, nobody is that stupid. They, they really aren't. How many times do I have to spurn you in favor of Chloe before you can take the hint, man? Not, I mean, not even Jacob Black was, and he was profoundly and stupidly dedicated, I gotta say. But even Jacob would have gotten the hint by now and gone and went ahead and imprinted on Renesmee. That guy, he was basically nothing more than an overly warm side of beef with fangs and fur, and still, he'd have moved on by now. He would have picked up what we were putting down. Okay, fine, let's go help this guy so we'll just we'll shut up. I gotta say, though, it always puzzled me. Why is it that in the Twilight universe, when the shapeshifters all turn into hey, werewolves, that guy is trapped. how come their social bonding I mechanisms were can. still those Anybody, of a waterfowl? instead of wolves. They imprinted like ducks or geese. I mean, heart of the pack, sure, but they all have the brains of a goose? Actually, heart of the pack, brains of a goose would be a great subtitle for like a standalone Jacob Black one. Yeah, well, I want to get this guy's foot out of here so we'll shut the fuck up. He'll die? I mean, I guess. All right, fine, here, I'll help you. Yeah, look at me. I'm a tiny little girl with string beanie little itty bitty arms. What am I supposed to help you do here? How am I gonna get this off of you? Uh, out to the lighthouse here in a minute after I go break a boy's heart. You go. Did he just say you go, girl? You go. He knows I'm about to go break a heart, and he's like, "Yeah, you be you, Max. You down with the ladies? You go tell that fella you ain't into him." Ooh, a dead body. Death is everywhere. It's following me. I don't know if you can pin this on, on... Whoa, shit! Yep, it sure is. Death is everywhere, definitely following us. We got to... I, I don't need to really stop that, do I? I guess I do. Or wait, was it gonna crush the trucker? I mean, I'm just gonna move. It's not gonna crush the trucker, is it? Okay, so we go look at... Dead body. Wait, did I undo? Everywhere. Following me. What? I undid myself saving the trucker? I didn't need to do that. Just oh. help the trucker again. Yeah, you're welcome, trucker. Get out of here. So we gotta watch out for the falling pole. Can we go just go around the pole? We're supposed to be going to the Two Whales Diner. Retail spaces are available, guys. If you want to. Grab yourself some cheap office space here in glorious downtown Arcadia Bay. Call 555-200-71017, which I'd like to point out is too fucking many numbers for a phone. What's that extra seven? Is that like the extension? Extension seven? All right, we're going to go around the pole of death because I'd rather not have my skull stayed in. Thank you. No parking anytime. I don't think anybody can be parking here anytime soon. What about the homeless lady who was living in the Arby's dumpster behind the two whales? We gotta go make sure that gal's okay. Whoops. Well, shit. Are you dead? Not Evan. I have to stop him from getting hurt. I do? Why? I mean, okay, I guess. Hey, Evan, get the fuck out of the road, dog. Tornado? Get the hell out of here, Max. You're about to get your brain smashed in by a flying piece of sheet metal. You can't take a picture when you're dead. Now move your ass. Okay, if you insist. Whoa, Max! You do know things. I'm such an idiot. Yeah, well, Holy time you wizard, no. Safe spot until this blows over. Okay? Now I better listen to the real everyday hero. Come with me. Quick, take a picture of me, Evan, and then also turn it into the everyday heroes contest, so that I can participate in it, albeit somewhat vicariously. What's with the pole, though? Step over the pole. Oh, well, now that it's down, we can just step over it and go poke this dead body with a stick. 
Hey, yeah, hey, you still dead? Death is everywhere. Yep, still dead. Yeah. Following me. Well, let's step back over the pole. Let's go help this person over here. They look troubled. Actually, they look more confused. Is that Alyssa? It's got to be Alyssa, right? Alyssa is always in trouble. And, yep, it's definitely Alyssa. Alyssa needs help again. Wait, the game pulled a switcheroo on us. It should have been us saving Alyssa from getting hit in the head with a piece of sheet metal, and Evan should be stranded at the top of this thing. Hey, I'm coming, Alyssa. Jesus. I mean, I've been saving you, like, nonstop, 24-7. Okay, what's up? Alyssa is stuck in that house. Yes, I can see that I very clearly. Fast. Alyssa, are you okay? Let me help you down. Let yeah, just jump. I'll catch you. I weigh all of like 85 pounds. Find something to get me down. Please, help me down. I mean, I don't know if I can do that or not, Alyssa. Really, all I'm good at is helping you avoid getting smashed into skull. Come on, find some way to help Alyssa. Like this very obvious plank that maybe you could stretch across there. There we go. Yeah, this seems, uh... Why is Max suddenly possessed of superhuman strength? She's a teeny tiny little thing with string beanie arms, and yet she can lift fallen road signs off of stranded truckers. She can fling giant two-by-sixes across gaps to help her friend Alyssa. Well, wow, okay, she didn't do a very good job. Yeah, you should probably go. I have to help other people. Watch out, Max! Another switcheroo! Oh. Alyssa saved us from getting smashed in the brain. Now we're even. Be careful out well, there. technically, we're not even, Alyssa, because I've saved you like five times now, and that's you saved me once. You know what? That looked pretty like a pretty egregious injury, so you, I'll give you credit for three, but that still leaves you two in the hole. You're still very clearly in my deck. But don't worry, I take MasterCard, Discover, Visa, and American Express, so... Whatever you feel is a fair donation for the Saving Your Skull Fund, oh, drop it on in. Oh, who's this? Well, this person looks dead. Yep, another dead body. Oh, I can't stand seeing these bodies. I mean, it's all right. It's, this is like the fifth dead body you've seen today, Max. Shouldn't you sort of be inured no, to the not horror dead. at this point? You're not. Wait, what, what was that yelling from about? Yeah, I don't think he's gonna move, girl. Oh, yeah. oh hey, a drawing. We've got time for this. I, I can't think about all those children out there. Oh, what children? The children have very clearly been evacuated safely from the truck and taken to, uh, you know, a nice shelter. Sure, their uh, butterfly drawing is gonna get wet, but that's probably the worst that happened to them. Mystery solved, but nobody gets a reward. I'm returning your tablet that I basically stole from you. I saw it lying there with all those cat pics and I just took it. I'm sorry for putting you through all this bullshit. I've been going through a lot myself the past year, and I was jealous that you had all those cats. Nobody likes me here, so I thought it would be funny to take your tablet. Things like this are why nobody likes me here. I wasn't sure if I could face you, so I wrote this note just in case. Either way, here's your tablet back. I hope I haven't caused you too much stress, and I hope you know how lucky you are to have so many cool cats in your life. I am clearly not one. I mean, this mystery is not solved because they, they didn't sign it. We have no idea who this is. It could be literally anyone. I could have written that note for all no, I know. You're not dead. You're not. Very definitely dead, girl. This is not the two lanes. It's on the wrong side of the street. Well, I guess we'll just crawl through the burning building. What could possibly go wrong here? Wait, is this the two whales? Um, no. How can I get out of here? Well, you could go back through the hole you came in. No? All right. Well, I guess we'll have to try and find some other way then, huh? If we can make it out of this, Chloe. We'll go to Shakespeare in the woods, I guess, is the implication. Also, if they're doing... Sh wait, wait, wait. What, what play is showing at Shakespeare in the woods? We got to check this out. We Hold on. We can make it out of this, Chloe. Let's all go to the drive-in, Shakespeare in the Woods. It doesn't say. See, if it's going to be Shakespeare in the Woods, I really kind of feel like it should be, uh, what, like a Midsummer Night's Dream? Probably the most appropriate. Don't fail me, Fusebox. Okay. Oh, is this guy trapped by the electricity or something? Oh, we're going to turn on the sprinkler, I suppose, right? 
This makes me so sad. Everybody plays Arcadia Bay Softball League every other Saturday. Why does everybody play seem like a vague threat? It'd be like, you come to the softball game, everybody plays, damn it. You hear me? We're gonna put a helmet on you and force you to get in there. Everybody plays. It's got a real fight club kind of feel to it. If it's your first night at softball, you have to ball. Let's just look at this. Do we really need a sprinkler system in the middle of a gigantic raging thunderstorm? We have electrocuted a man. He's dead. Electrocuted. Yeah, we should probably not electrocute a fisherman. That just seems mean. It does put the fire out, I suppose. But hey, hey, fisherman, you wanna you wanna move there, Jimmy? I wanna help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. So I guess we have to kill him then. Damn. I'm stuck here unless I put out this fire first. Okay. Well, the I don't really want to murder the fishermen to put out the fire, though. I kind of feel like the game is maybe sort of shoehorning me into this. Is there something I can do to the fishermen to not electrocute him? Hey, fisherman. Dude, hey. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and... He might not hear me. He's in shock, you say? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get riffed back on that one. Yep, definitely in shock now. Alright. So, wait, could we just move past the fuse and then, like, unwind time? Let's just do that. Here we go. Let's just rack time back to before the fisherman is dead. We're on the other side of the fire now, so it's all good. Please, please, please. Hey, Jimmy the Fishmonger, get, get up. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. If only you could speak to him instead of weirdly talking about him from very, like, a Come few on. feet away. You have to get out of here right now. Or you're going to get electrocuted, hey, dipshit. Uh, I need air. Why would a fisherman be this frightened of a storm, I by the way? Don't, don't, don't worry about it, guy. We're not going to die. We'll get out of here. I mean, it's just like a... In, oh, we're, nope. I was gonna say it's like a tiny bit of fire, but we're actually kind of fucked. Can we reach through the wall? Yeah, we can. There we go. But why would a fisherman be this afraid of a storm? He's a fisherman. This can't possibly be the first storm the fisherman has ever seen, right? I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. Yeah, the way out's over here. Seriously, though, I mean, did this guy not see a perfect storm? Didn't he see how well Mark Wahlberg and uh, George Clooney handled it when they were confronted by what was arguably the perfect storm? They were calm, cool, level-headed, did their best to try and save themselves and the rest of their crew. They didn't freak out at the first sign of a little wind and rain. They were still trying to fish at this point. They'd be like, yeah, this is pretty bad, but deal. these fish are really biting, though. The true fisherman wouldn't have given up so easily. True fisherman would be out there. Catching whales. Oh, the two whales die. Oh, okay. Well, then we should probably rewind that, I guess. We need to go turn off the... Is there like a gas main or something we should turn off? What did that do? Oh, I got it. Okay. So fire was coming to blow up the diner, but, uh, you know, me being me, I stopped that shit, because stopping tragedies is what I do. Also, save this menu board. What's today special? Simple eggs and bacon. What's the special, though? Old-fashioned bacon and eggs for six bucks, though. Still feels like kind of a little high price, two whales. You think whale will be on the menu at the two whales diner, since there actually is a white whale? Wow. Wait. How perfect would it be if this wasn't the only dead whale in the street, but if there were, in fact, another dead whale? If there were two dead whales outside the two whales diner, it'd be too good, right? The game developers could not have possibly passed up on an opportunity to have two Look, dead whales be in the street. This tornado... Not anymore. Man Estate, New Arcadia Bay Secret Highway. Discover your own magic world. Uh, you know, that's a pretty big tornado, Max, but uh, I, don't, I don't really think it's like an end-of-the-world train. Honestly, I've, I've actually seen tornadoes that were about that size. We used to live in a pretty rural part of Missouri, and uh, we got a lot of tornadoes, and as tornadoes go, Warren's car isn't you know, the only I've seen bigger. Left alone. Good. Yeah, you won't mind when I steal it. Why do I need to steal Warren's car when I already got access to Jefferson's car, by the way? Can I take a picture Shit. of the wreck train? That train could have derailed into the diner. Yeah, well, that whale could have flown into the diner, too, but it didn't. 
lot of bad shit could be happening right now. We could have let that puddle of gasoline burn its way into the diner and everyone could have exploded and died. Look at that. This tornado might be the end of I love the that world. Max says, look at this. The tornado's the end of the world. And Fresh, she stares at the carcass of a dead whale from like a foot and a half away. What's in, what's in the paper today? The monsters are actually the people here. Beasts from 20,000 fathoms, nature run them up. Okay. Dead cop. Yeah, you know what? Perfidious Pete's not gonna, not gonna, not gonna shed any tears over that one. A wise man, Henry Rollins, once said, the only good cops are the ones that are pushing up the daisies. Oh, she's not here. I hope she's in a shelter. I never even asked her name. I just hope she's not crushed beneath what appears to be uh, some kind of, like, economy-sized car. Because let's face it, if you're going to get crushed by a car, you definitely don't want it to be a some shitbox economy job. You want to get smashed by, like, a Jaguar or an Austin, uh, Aston Martin, something fancy, man. You don't want to get crushed by, like, what is that, like a, like a Geo Metro? I can't read the graffiti anymore. A second ago, I could read this graffiti, but now I can't. All right, I guess we could go in the diner. Evacuation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. Not the emergency broadcast system, bro. There's a straight up giant tornado outside. And if you're not out there carving some serious waves, you better get your ass out of town, bro. This is all yeah. Douchemeister Radio coming at you to tell you about a little black web bullying here between the hours and tornado updates by Juliet Watson. Great story in the Arcadia Bay Beacon. I just like doing that voice. Ah, uh, torn in writing the essay. I love my school and education is primed. At the same time, I have to use my own critical thinking abilities as a budding journalist. So when I report that Blackwell is a problem, it's not with any glee or agenda. In fact, this problem reflects a disturbing national trend. In short, there are bullies at school. And they are us. Yes, we were the monsters all along. Dun, dun, dun. It's like every Twilight Zone episode ever. Trust me, I'm trying to figure out how. I swear. Mm -hmm. In the man-made drought. In the bay. Is it technically a bay? If the bay is a drought, wouldn't it be more of just like a concavity? Arcadia concavity doesn't have quite the same ring to it. Here. We've got plenty of... I can't tell what this is. Those are beans, very clearly. I mean, those are those same beans we saw Frank eating. And he was very upset, by the way, when we spilled his beans. Uh, so got some corn from the looks of things. You know, uh, in the crippling debt that Joyce is in, do you think maybe she ever helps herself to, like, a just casual can of corn on the way home? Nobody would care, Joyce. It's fine. Can of corn's like 79 cents. Nobody would be too upset. You take that home and you feed your family. Max. Oh, there's Frank right there. Oh, Max. What's up, Kaz? Oh, hey, Chloe's dead. I Shot in the so brain. Glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Nope, not even a little. Yes. What about you? Where guys? to begin? I uh, saw my would-be lover get shot in the now. brain. Uh, got oh, tortured by a serial killer. Uh, watched your husband oh, die like four times, and then saw him execute oh, a man brutally, okay, gangland style, bed. in the basement of a kill dungeon. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm actually not good at all. It's not much, at all. Joyce, but it's all we have. Hey, Warren, can I have my photo already? Are you okay, Warren? Also, you will never be inside me, Warren. You just How the hell allow me to reiterate. You'll guys. never be inside me. The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. I should have seen it coming. Well, no argument here, Warren. I mean, not necessarily the seen it coming part, but the so stupid no, part. Is safe here. Yeah. But I need hey, Frank's dog is okay, though. Chloe. Let's put on a little Sorry, music and relax here, guys. No oh, shit. No, no, I'm just a pussy. Sorry. Don't call yourself a pussy, Frank. All right, so uh, maybe we just chill in the booth for a minute. It's hard to believe people were eating breakfast here. Only a few Why is that hard to believe? Because this giant rampaging storm wasn't here a few years ago or a few hours ago. People didn't need to eat breakfast. They'd be like, oh, they had no idea it was coming. People got to eat, Max. Let's just chill in the booth. Hey, maybe the dog. Can we pet this dog? Hey, Gucci. Hey, 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 doggo. Come here. Come here, doggo. 
That's a good boy. Who's a good boy? Give yourself one moment to do nothing. Yeah, because this is the proper time to just sit down and watch the world fucking burn, I guess. I convinced Chloe I could rewind time. Yep. So, what's the point of this power? What's the lesson? The lesson is, and the point is, that you save Chloe, Max. That's what it is. You save no, Chloe. That's all it's good for. It's the I only thing it's ever really done is game. allowed you to save Chloe 75 trillion but, times. And we need it I to be able to do it just to one more time. Mark Jefferson. And now I can stop Chloe from dying. Why do you say that like there's... Time. Yeah, okay, fine. You say it for the last time like that. It makes me really think like there's a sense of finality here, Max. Like maybe you're going to save her one more time and then the next time she dies, that's it forever. Also, who, who's a good boy? Yeah, Papa Do's a good boy. Do you think this is the end? Probably. What's up, Frank? Jesus. Joyce has got everybody's back. Even Frank's. Wow, well, I mean, Frank's a loyal customer, man. He comes here and gets a plate of beans every morning. It's good to have Frank And he tips $4 on an 89 cent plate of beans, so, you know, he's a good tipper. You want to take care of him. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Yep. Hey, by the way, Rachel's Frank, dead. Found her corpse in the so graveyard. Here. Or not the graveyard, but rather the us. junkyard, Frank. No, if only I had Rachel back. Yeah, she ain't coming no, Max, back. What about that info I gave you? Uh, Rachel's dead Did in the you junkyard. Did find out what happened to her? Yep, buried in a shallow grave. Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this. Sure so you do. Just, she's buried in a shallow well, grave in the junkyard. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't yep, fucking drugged be. and probably violated and defiled sure? by a serial I mean, killer. Know. We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. Found a serial but killer inside. Would have never suspected. Has this creepy photo torture room. And pictures of Rachel found out being tortured Nathan creepily. Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott. Fuck. Fuck, I knew it. No, it wasn't him, I actually. I should never have hooked up with that sick... Punk. Well, that's probably Bobby true, Reed. Frank. You definitely were complicit in Rachel's demise. You saw. You saw Rachel. Yeah, she was horribly rotted, and it was it was real gross, actually. Yes. Put me right off I my wish lunch. I didn't. I'm so so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he he killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? Overdose of drugs that you sold him. He used some drug. Gave her an overdose. Yep, said overdose. Frank's brand on it. And, uh... The only way Nathan could have done that is... Yeah, is yeah, said Frank's brand Special K right on the side. I I'm pretty sure you lioness. did, in fact, do it. No, what have I done? Ah, uh, well, I mean, you definitely were complicit Jefferson. in the death of the woman you love. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Yeah, Rachel. David Manson turns out to have been the hero. He oh, shot God. him in the brain. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me. Just, it's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. Turns out her dream was you, Frank, and you fucked it all up. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. But you ruined Rachel it all. Guess you better go fling yourself people. into a tornado now. Can I have your dog? Especially Chloe. Seriously though, uh, once you fling yourself in the tornado, can I? Uh, see why Rachel dug can I have your dog? She was pretty nice. Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Yeah, Chloe's Chloe pretty awesome. That's why I love her. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. Uh, I suppose it's and never too late. Let me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. Oh, well, you know, I'm glad you could take time out of your personal grief and torment and own internal apocalypse to tell me how cool I am. Because that's an appropriate reaction. Focus on the people here. Actually, I can't believe my reach. See, that's a more appropriate reaction, Frank. I can't talk right now, all right? Well, that's good. I actually wanted to talk to Joyce, not you. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and... Give Frank some rest in space. He needs his room after that brutal soul-wrenching horror Joyce, you just laid on him like it was nothing. Doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Now wait till I tell you Chloe's dead. Chloe? Dead! 
Uh, I'll, she's, you know what? I'll find her. I, I'll find her. You know, specifically, I'll find her body at the junkyard where I left it with the skull hole in it. And David, I'll hold up somebody safe. You know, it's funny that you should mention David being in a hole and safe, because he actually is probably safer than just about anybody else in town down in the kill dungeon. He's probably also going to need to hole up when the cops get unbusy with the tornado shit. David. You don't have control over any of that. Yeah, well, David I still feel like it's adult. slightly my he has fault. a lot more age and experience under his belt. He doesn't always show it. Um, well, it's kind of the perfect I storm, know. really. I just feel like everything that's going on with us is the perfect storm for Arcadia Bay. I you know, starring George Clooney and Mark Wahlberg. Normal again. Sword fishing. Shit going on this week. I think you're right. And look at me, trying to keep my family together. Yeah, about yeah. that. Estranged husband going to jail, daughter dead. You know, the whole family uh, keeping together thing is not really going that well. And uh, David needs you, Joyce. Like, now more than ever, especially because the legal fees are going to be off the rails, and he doesn't seem like he gets paid that well. You better start saving your tips. David saved my life from the storm. And also from I a serial killer, oddly enough. Chloe, even if he couldn't show it. David needs you more than ever, and I can see why you love him. Well, that last so part's not necessarily true. He's still a little weird and he damaged, but I mean, I can see. From the war, but he uh -huh. truly wants to help people. Right. And I can tell Even that you like that about him and that you need to try and fix him, because you, you seem like a person who always wants to have a project. Really. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you and Chloe. Mm -hmm. Nothing would make me. He happy shot a man for Chloe, David in fact. Chloe to make peace, not war. You know what would make me happy? Making love just, with Chloe, not war. At some point, I'm gonna have to get out of this conversation so I can go do that, though, Joyce. So if you wanna take a powder. If we can. I hear Los David Angeles is, is lovely hero, this time of year. Joyce. I know that all he wants to do is make you happy. Plus, it's not like his high school security guard job is really the lifelong career he had imagined. I, I can't imagine that's and keeping you yes, tied to this town. William, but that's okay. He's not supposed to be. You reminded me of when he came into my life. I was ready to give up. David's love gave me strength. He even told me I was his hero. Which is ironic and all, because, you know, I'm not really that heroic. Him. To come back home. Well, that's going to be a tough oh, road to hoe, Joyce, because I think the only home he's going to be going to is uh, the kind with the uh, striped vertical lines of light that come through the windows because of the bars. Max, do you, do All right, let's just get this photo from Warren and get it over with. Oh, hey, there's a first aid kit here. Good job, Warren. I hope those supplies are enough. Enough for what? Everybody who's outside that's even moderately injured is already dead. The only other two people in this bar are here. Frank has a little cut on the head, and this guy doesn't seem to be actually hurt at all. Crazy Jim's just distraught because he lost his fucking lottery ticket. I'm going to win it. This is my million dollars. Oh, it blew away in the wind. My million, y'all. Look at Warren. Always trying to help. Wait, wasn't he supposed to have the Christopher Lloyd voice? Marty, my ticket it blew away, Marty. Now I'll never be a millionaire. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. Well, Warren, okay. I'm going to change that in about the, the next 35 seconds. You're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Yeah, so I was actually impressed by the jungle but monkey damn, Max, beating you laid on his ass. That was some capoeira shit right there. Tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. You're right. Warren, I came for all of you. No, I actually came for the photograph. Fuck you, Warren. The Give me the picture. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh, yeah. You're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. That's right. I don't like you. Go I have sex with have. Brooke. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Yep. I Trust like me, Chloe, okay? and I'm not into I dudes. always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. Uh -huh. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. Yep. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. I rewound and time I and have been doing so time. ever since. And long story short, Mark You belong Jefferson with Brooke and you'll never be inside me. That's the long story short. Is that all? 
I started the storm, uh, he killed Chloe. I have to go back in time. Jefferson already Why is Max's oh, mouth not moving here? Is she also a telepath now? I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. Oh, because... because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but... This seems well, like I mean, come on, B minus in chemistry, Maybe Warren. You actually don't play one at school very well what either. What happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? Uh, you know, a little bit, yeah. He killed Rachel Amber, Ethan though. accidentally killed Rachel Amber trying to impress Jefferson. Max has gone into full telepath help. mode. No. Warren is inside her brain. He can hear her thoughts. Jesus, Max. I want the whole story, but... I guess we really are out of time. Plus, the fact that you yeah, keep I talking to me without moving things. your mouth is really fucking creeping me out, Max. Could you stop that I shit right now? There's, there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Uh, no. I'm gonna say no. I don't really think that's how this works, there, Warren. <sighs> you believe me? You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I well, I believe you now that your mouth is moving else. again. Except for Chloe, and and she can't help me right now. Cause she's dead. I can be a pain in the ass, and and you've always treated me like a person. Actually, I've treated you terribly, Warren. I've actually morally treated you like sort of a lap dog that I really don't give a shit whether it lives or dies. My powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. It's actually not either. It's fiction. Or a wormhole. You're part of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but. After this week, I realize I don't know shit. Yeah, you because you never realized that I'm totally crazy. not into dudes, I Warren. Do you know you're here for a reason. You should have realized that if you were ever gonna realize shit. I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. Yeah, I'm kind of losing the but plot too, Warren. Fate, I gotta admit. The right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. Can you give me the photo now? More important moment in history. I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Warren, for being seriously, we're here. Honest. I'm now. I'm telling you, I'm definitely not into dudes. And what do you do? Take one last opportunity to hit on me. Jesus Christ, man. Take a I fucking hint, Warren. Good words. sweet God. All right. Hey, it's time to time wizard the shit out of this. Be careful out there. Don't worry, Warren. You'll never remember this conversation. See you in hell. Watch out for Joyce and Frank. I got this, Max. Go on. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. You know on. what? No, hold on a second. I swear. There's That's one thing I gotta do here. Max. Hold on. Oh, now, come on. You gotta do this. Alright, Warren. You're never gonna remember this because it never happened. And for the beating that you gave, Nathan, you know what? You deserve this, buddy. Come. Just once in your... Pathetic, miserable life, Warren. Just once, you get the girl. You're not gonna get to keep the girl, but you are gonna get the girl. You better savor that for like the four and a half seconds that it's Just gonna have actually have happened. This, I wanted to say. Well, you're desperately in love with me, Warren, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't phase me in the slightest. Do. I'm gonna make the right choices from now on. I swear. Like That's not being with you, Warren. Max. I'm gonna go be with Chloe instead. I hope you enjoyed that kiss, cause now it never happened. Never happened, Warren. Never happened. Instead, I'm gonna give you a hug, and then I'm gonna go save my girl. Hey. Be careful out there. Alright, you get a hug. That's it. I could use a hug before I do this. Me Wait, too. is he gonna make this creepy and weird? Yeah, he's gonna make it creepy and weird. Yeah, okay, yeah, see that? that oh, look at the look. Oh, I can feel his erection. No, okay, sorry, Better Warren. Go before I, get I don't regret having given the kiss and then taking it back, but you know what, Warren? I, I do fucking regret the creepy hug with your fully right erect penis smashed against my thigh. I didn't I need to feel that. That's why you're super max. Yeah, that's why I'm super undoing that fucking hug and just walking out the door. Come on, let me let me undo the hug. 
I don't regret the kiss, Mac. Or Warren, whatever your name is. Sidekick. I don't regret the kiss, because you're not going to remember it. And you did deserve it. The beating alone was worth a little bit of a smoochy poo, but now I'm just going to go. Watch out for. See you in hell, Warren. Let's do this. It's time to go save my girl. So this photo was in the parking lot. Well, this would be after I saved Chloe the first time, I think. But before I saved her in any of the subsequent times. Seriously, this mechanic is the hardest thing about Life is Strange. I know how it works, Life is Strange. I just can't seem to find the sweet spot here. Oh, Pete, I bet that's something you hear. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Can't find the sweet spot, Pete. I bet you hear that a lot, especially in the sack. Yeah, 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 mock all you want. Okay, I'm convinced that the sweet spot does not... Oh, wait, here it is. Like a split second, I had it. Where is it? There it is. See, say Perfidious Pete never finds a sweet spot. Once in a while, I can get you there. Sun shines on a dog's ass some days. We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Oh, wait, this is the drunk. Okay, Come drunk on. Warren's picture. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? We are definitely not going to the graveyard because you're going to get shot in the head. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm Damn, Skippy, it's all good. Too. No What's hit on, on Brooke Max? now. We have to find Nathan right Seriously, now. she's inside. Sorry, she's right. alone. She's vulnerable, Warren. You Let's can go. be smashing now. that vag Chloe, minutes wait, from listen. now. And in the meantime, listen, okay? hopefully I'm going to be smashing Stop some of Chloe's badge. Or she'll be smashing mine. Fine, or we'll be Max. smashing each other's. Whatever. I'm, I'm down with whatever she's got in mind. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. Yep. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Yep. I'm not like that. Well, sort of no. You're supposed to back me up. So there's Dude, no I've been doing nothing but backing you the fuck up. You're right, also, he won't. it's not Nathan. Jefferson. Mark Jefferson killed you and others. Including Rachel. Jefferson, the art he teacher? also tries to drug me. That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. Nope. We saw the proof. Nope. Now, excuse it's all me. forged. I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you Can't coming? let you do that, Chloe. It's too dangerous. Also, Nathan is dead. Nathan is dead. And you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Uh, because Jefferson told me. I and there. I was there. Okay, and I saw his tell body. tell me exactly what happened. Please. Okay, he's dead. Jefferson killed him. Also, Jefferson hurt me, and you're sort of responsible Chloe. for it. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. After he killed you. In his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here, and I can't lose you again. I won't. Also, we really need to get the That's fuck out of Arcadia Bay because there's so a giant sorry. tornado coming. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Pretty much. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. Damn right. Chloe and Max. No. Not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm going to do is just break it over and over again. We should just go. I know how this is going to turn out, and... I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Yeah, and but in an infinite realities? number of realities, Max, you, you have Max? like infinite tries to actually get this correct. So who gives a shit how many realities we ruin? Does it really matter? I mean, it's an infinity. I kind of fucked I up fucked a little up, bit. fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Every Max, single what time. What are you talking about? Uh, well, back in time at I one point. I was able to go back in time. To the last day William was alive. Yeah, you wound up paralyzed and begged I me to kill you, and I actually leaving, wouldn't but, even do it. But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? I you're, did. You were completely paralyzed. And it, you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... Begged me to kill you, you actually. You end your life. But Chloe, there was no way I could do that. Mostly because of the jail time. I had to return to this timeline. To see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... 
I must have been awful for you. I yeah, I gotta say, it's kind of a douche so move for a friend to try and place that burden on me. Yeah. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. You know, except for maybe a little light spanking now and again, Do if you you're down with you think I would even it. know how like, to handle if you that ask. situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. And that we never go to the junkyard. That's the that's, other important thing. That's why you should come with me so we can stay together and stay alive. Right. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Turns out all we actually have to do is just go tell your dad. If we tell David, Stepdad. he'll Sorry. believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? Because he actually middle. murdered a person for me. He def uh, he saved me and Chloe also David murdered a man me from when he found out that that if man he killed didn't you. Track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you. But well, it's going to be hard when you're I'm constantly so a corpse, Chloe. There. So what's your plan? Well, first off, the plan includes you not dying. Victoria is in danger. No, we don't okay. do. No, 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 no. Oh, hold, hold on a minute. So Wait a minute. Life is strange. No. Nope. Uh, uh. Hold on. No, 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 no. Uh, uh. No. Wait. Uh, no. I want to take back. No. On this one. Uh, uh. No, 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 no. None of the Victoria part. I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David. And we finally let him do his Except job. for the Victoria part, You'll Chloe. You gotta exactly remember to forget just, to not tell me to tell him about Victoria. I'm using the photo. Will you believe me? No. Probably not. I'll always believe you, Chloe. Also, the Victoria part. Just fucking forget that I mentioned it, by the way. Okay? Uh, the Victoria thing? No, no. We, uh, that part did not happen. We don't tell him about Victoria. We tell him about Jefferson. But we give him plenty of time to make sure that Victoria is securely dead be before we rat him. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, so now what? Now we're right back where we came into the whole thing, huh? Oh, Chloe! I see that the real Max is back. So how was your time trip, dude? Uh, great. Shut I guess up. we're just gonna die right oh, here. You're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. Yeah, I did a whole bunch to bring you back, and it's <laughs> all for fucking nothing, because now we're gonna die on this beach, I guess. Travel through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And yeah, well, could I grab that ass? I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Yeah, but that ass, though. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just You're also the official time wizard, so you know. Just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Time wizard. Get it straight, Chloe. And caring, a time wizard. You could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. Well, maybe you should will it to fucking stop then. I always wanted my life to be special and adventure, but not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. Specifically because no my powers exist to save you from repeated destruction. We were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was. God, I want to kiss you right now. The scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We all owe Rachel. Amber. Wait. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. Good. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Did you uh, we remember to forget to tell me about Victoria? We safe at the lighthouse. Why did I say that? The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. I'm pretty sure that lighthouse is going to fall and crush my head. Real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is it stop beating yourself up, okay? We both paid our dues already on it. Why did I say the life out was we safe? What the hell is wrong with me? Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. 
Our revenge. Or alternatively, it could just be one of the aspects of a subtly warming planet. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. It's 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 not that out of the way. Chloe. I've got your back, Rex. Okay. Whoa. I just got our back. Oh, son of a Alfred bitch! Hitchcock not this again. Film little pieces of time. I'm what back in class. What the hell? Yeah, I'm as stymied as you are. I thought we had finally come to the climax of this story, and now... Listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This might be hell. You actually may be right on that one, Max. Can you give me an this, example of a I'm beginning to think may actually be hell. Am I stuck in a time loop? I don't know whether we're stuck in a time loop or not, but you know what we're going to have to do? I think we're going to have to find out next episode, because this one's already stupefyingly long. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad I don't mothers. remember there being repeated banging last time. Tortured, What's going on? Uh, somebody is melting the shit out of the windows with paintballs? Wait, those are fucking birds. Any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a oh good. I've completely ruined time again, and now I'm alone. Everybody's gone now. Yeah, seems like time's real Wait, broken now. We fucked up time? Yep. This doesn't make sense. Uh, it makes perfect sense. I'm pretty sure we're in hell. It's raining bloody birds and shit everywhere now. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna have to carry this on in another episode. If you enjoyed this one, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Support really does mean a lot. And if you'd see, like to see whether or not we are truly in some kind of Burgess Meredith-inspired hell, you might consider subscribing as well. New episodes of Life is Strange every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Although, I'm thinking, like, every time I think that we've hit the last one... A giant this is a flock of birds flies and splatters wait. themselves into gore on the window, and I don't know what to think anymore. Oh, good, there's a blood stain on the table. Well, we'll check that out next time. Right now, thanks very much for watching. See you again soon.